Dark Side of the Ring, we are talking the Sherry Martel episode, but when you say Dark Side of the Ring, you can't help but think of Thursday, May 2nd, 208 Bank Street, star of Dark Side <laughs> of the Ring, Buff Bagwell, making his appearance at the social bar and kitchen. Get there early, 5 to 7 meet and greet time, 7.30 trivia starts. But what starts right now is our discussion of the Sherry Martell Dark Side of the Ring, and this is where the good feelings about this show stop, right? It was an excellent episode, but it's not too often you hear about mothers walking away from their children. And even though she was still involved in his life, that was like the centerpiece of this episode, right? Oh, wow. Yeah. One of the centerpieces. I didn't watch it yet. I gotta I gotta watch that. That's no. I it I'm oh, like shit. gonna That's be spoiler alert. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. It's all right. I, I knew like light, you know, I learned I knew a lot of light things about Sherry Martel. So I watched the episode. A lot of people love Sherry, which I'd always heard, and she's really an engaging character. Uh, but one of the things that I could not <clears throat> connect with, and Joe knows this, like I have five stepkids that have really entered my life and I take care of them in the last few years. Dave couldn't really- walk away from them even if he wanted to. <laughs> right, <laughs> you know, you built this relationship. He hasn't like- tried. I'm 100% kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I have not tried. I definitely, there's, there's one kid, I won't say his name because he's going to maybe see him someday, but he definitely made me think a couple times. I'm like, oh. <laughs> he knows who he is. Yeah, yeah. Um, my Wait, Dave, uh, did you did you inherit an entire Brady bunch? Like, yeah, for you sure. You inherited a Brady bunch. Yeah, when people tell you, "Oh, five kids is a lot of work," you hear that, but until you have kids, oh yeah, it's a lot of effing work. And as I we told as early as like yesterday, she's like, "I know you love me because you would probably walk away." And I'm like, "Oh yeah, you are a you are a taxi driver." You are an ATM machine. You are a bouncer. <laughs> you are a <laughs> I'm imagining the uh, Andy's the, a podcast the, um, co-host. Uh, I'm imagining the uh, uh, married with children I- intro, <laughs> but with <laughs> but with five different kids showing up, and oh. you're like, okay, we got them all. <laughs> We got them all. Like, Dude, that's but yeah, amazing. getting back to Dark Side of the Ring, it was great to hear from her ex-husband. It was great to yeah. hear from her son, no matter how heartbreaking it is. And mm-hmm. I think it really highlighted, and I was talking with Jess in the TikTok about this, that women in the wrestling business had to give up so much more to even be moderate. So if you think about what Sherry had to do to be one of the top ones, you become, you see it during the episode, you become a shell of your former self because you have to give up so much of your life to become that top star. And that's one of the great things that Dark Side of the Ring has done. We see it with Sherry Martell. We saw it with people like Junkyard Dog as well. You know, people that had to do extra in the business, even just to be kind of like mid-level and what it takes to be that next level legend. So if you haven't seen it yet, I think you're very much going to enjoy this episode. Dave, what were your thoughts on Dark Side of the Ring? What I think is also crazy was how cool her son and uh, his dad and her ex-husband, they really were about the situation. Like, they were upset, but they, like he said, she's still a legend. I love her. She's my mom. And his stepmom became his mom. But the stepmom even had a good relationship with me. Like, they all love Sherry. Like, Sherry would keep the kid, you know, she would, you know, keep in touch. Even though she'd always see him, you know, like they said, they'd send them out, like, with him to be, like, for a week. And it'd only be, like, two days, you know, stuff would happen. So you could just see somewhere in there they saw this big heart of this woman. and But also a troubled soul. And they all loved her and were okay with this. I think that says volumes about Sherry. But also these people around her, because I mean, man, oh man, you know, walking away and that's not the easiest thing to just accept and be cool with. You know, you can be angry for the rest of your life for that. And uh, so even though, like, I can say personally, I couldn't, I can't understand. Like, I know that's not right. I can always understand why you can do something, <laughs> but I, I don't know how you end up making, like, I feel like you should just pull back in, but. I can't. So I guess I can't personally agree with it, but at the end of the day, I think it's really great that the rest of this family was so cool, and they still had some kind of closeness there. Big ups to them. Glad they could do that.